I'm John Lawless with AccuTab, and uh, we're just pleased as we could be to have Ron Block with us today. We'll talk uh, some about uh, Ron's uh, fairly unique style and how he approaches the banjo, and hopefully a lot of things that will help people uh, improve their own banjo playing. Shortly after I began playing, well, maybe a couple of years, uh, I took uh, a few lessons from John Hickman out in California. And he showed me a few, a few things uh, that were really good, and his, his sense of timing and touch were, were always really good. So I start pretty slow, you know, and I'll just do stuff like this. kick and a snare just like you know the bass and the, mm -hmm. and the mando but then there's also the dividing of the beats I like having that sometimes and then other times I take it out and just have kick and snare mm -hmm. and then other times I uh, just have kick or just snare mm -hmm. uh, and you know I guess what I'm trying to do is first of all use that to delineate the space between my notes and then take it away and try to do that myself <laughs> Second example, were you using this box concept, which comes from guitar as well, doesn't it? It does. It does, and uh, it really. Well, let me let me go back to the the unitar idea, which built that concept. Mm -hmm. You know, as I learned this, and and began to improvise on that one string, then I began to learn this. Now, how do you approach? playing back up when you've modified your tuning that much? You know, uh, I stick pretty much down here. Uh, there's a few things I'll do. Just a few little things here and there, but I just... Because the band is delineating the chords, sure. you can just draw a straight line through. And then sometimes, for the kickoff to uh, I'll Remember You Love in My Prayers, I wanted to uh, play it fairly straight. And so this, this break is, has a lot of forward roll in it, uh, and, and uh, I wanted to really drive the intro to it. So we'll go through it here. Uh, it starts off with a you know, fairly uh, standard uh, I guess it's a variation of, and, and I always like to, on the bluesier tunes, to go and make that more chromatic-y. And then I do a slide and just start rolling. So. I guess one of the main things I want to get across is the ideas behind what I do, rather than, you know, I, I think it's okay to learn some of the s songs and, you know, dig into that, because that's what a DVD is for, but not to make that your center, you know, that's where, where I, my, it's my hope people would listen to this and learn the concepts presented and use those ideas to come up with their own way of playing, their own ideas. Mm -hmm. 